Hey guys, so in today's video I am going to share something that has been so highly requested so I thought I should sit down and show you guys exactly what I do for my skincare routine. Now keep in mind I do have quite a lot of products and what works for me might not work for you so it's best to understand your skin to understand what it likes and how things works for you so you have to tailor make it and it has to be like a bespoke routine that works for you. I have really really extremely oily skin but it's only on the t-zone and then uh, the sides of my uh, face is normal it's not dry it's not oily it's just normal so i have combination skin and acne prone skin so i've got a little bit of acne over here which is almost dying and the rest of my skin is doing pretty well i do have quite a bit of open pores uh, from all of the breakouts that i've had in the past but they're doing much better right now and and yeah so that's my skin you can tell that it's actually doing really well from what it used to look like before I changed my diet so I have cut down on all junk food which was so hard I've cut down dairy which is one of the first things that actually made a difference and I could see the difference on my skin second thing that I am doing in my lifestyle is drinking lots and lots and lots of water and thirdly I have made sure that I exercise at least thrice a week so my skincare has two different types. One is the cleansing and the other one is calming. So I have these two different kind of skincare routine that I like to do depending on what my skin is feeling like that day. So the cleansing routine is for days when I feel like my skin is extremely clogged um, or I have had a week where I've worn a lot of makeup, I've done a lot of shoots and or I have had a very unhealthy lifestyle going on throughout the week so I can tell that my skin needs that extra purging. That's when I use my cleansing routine. And then I have days where my skin is much more irritated if maybe I've tried something that hasn't worked for me because I, because of my job, I, I try a lot of products on my skin. So sometimes some things don't work or, um, my skin is just inflamed uh, maybe before I get my periods when I'm BMSing my jawline is completely uh, filled with acne I get like this huge pimples and I can see that my skin is irritated and inflamed so that's when I use my calming routine first step is to cleanse your face so for that I use face wash and I have quite a lot of face washes that I use so next to my sink I have this one this is the Kama Ayurveda anti-acne cleansing foam so this is a cleansing foam that I like to use in the morning it really helps in very gently cleaning your face in the morning it comes out directly as a foam so it's very easy to use in the morning when I'm feeling very lazy also it's very mild so I don't use this in the night because I want something a little bit more effective and clarifying in the night if I want a gentle exfoliation then I use the Kama Ayurveda Mridul uh, cleanser uh, this is a powder cleanser which is completely over I have to buy a new one and then in the shower I used to have the Kiehl's deep cleansing foaming face wash um, just got done with this and I already repurchased a new one and or I have these two as well uh, this is the Innisfree Jeju Volcanic pore cleansing foam and this is the the face shop Jeju Volcanic lava pore cleansing foam both of them do more or less the same thing and I use these two on days that I want my skin to be extremely clean and I like using these two for my nighttime skincare routine because they're like very foaming very cleansing and it just really helps in removing all of the makeup that my makeup remover couldn't remove and I use the Kiehl's one when I feel that my skin needs cleansing but it also needs to be calmed down because this is not as stripping uh, it, it does not let your skin feel like you know it's stripped off all of its moisture like the way the volcanic one does because these are for like very very oily skin now for step number two which is toning um, which make sure that you do not skip I, I've realized that it really makes a difference in your skincare and I have been using something different actually this is the Innisfree wine peeling jelly softener and I love 
love this product i think this is what has actually made a difference in my skin so you take this onto a cotton pad like this so i've just taken like a little bit and then you apply it all over your face and what it does is that it gently lifts away dead skin while hydrating your skin and just removing anything that's on the top layer so it's like this very gentle exfoliation after you've cleaned your face i thought my skin was clean but as you can tell on the cotton pad it has removed quite a lot of dust that was sitting on my skin now for the days that i want my skin to be really calm or if there are a lot of acne so i do not want to use something that is super exfoliating i use this toner so this one is from innisfree again uh, this is the bija troubled skin toner and i would highly recommend uh, the bija sika range to anybody that has very sensitive acne prone skin it has really helped in calming my skin so on the day side, my skin is extremely inflamed, it's sensitive, it has a lot of active acne. I use the Bija Sika Balm and it's almost over, I have to buy a new one. I uh, should have included this in my product empties as well because this is completely over. And I've actually replaced my La Roche-Posay Faclar Duo with this because I could not find the Faclar Duo anymore and I thought that this was much more gentle and yet effective than the La Roche-Posay because the La Roche-Posay one can be a little drying. Um, even though it is, it works absolutely brilliantly on my skin, but I think this is a much more gentler option. And for other days when I have cleansed my skin thoroughly, so those are the days I also use masks. So I use like these very clarifying clay masks. So then what I do is I make sure that I hydrate my skin very well. That's when I use this. This is the Fish of Chia Seed Moisture Recharge Serum. So I just take like one or two pumps of this and then press it against my skin after I have used toner. And I usually do cleansing and then do a face mask, then do toner, then serum, and then moisturizer. So for moisturizer, I have quite a few different ones that I like to use depending on how I'm feeling. So the ones that I use the most often is this from the face shop. This is the Chia Seed No Shine Intense Hydrating Cream and it does exactly what it says. Um, it is a very lightweight cream. I take a little bit of it and apply this all over my face once the serum has been completely absorbed. So, or I use the Bija Sika Lotion. This is again a very lightweight lotion it's water based I take like a little bit of it and apply this all over my face starting say from like the jawline just making sure that it settles very well on my skin and again this is one of those range like I said um, which helps in settling down any sensitivity or any inflammation any redness it just really helps in taking all of that down I also really like using the Clinique Moisture Surge again one of those um, creams that are very lightweight and once you apply this it just feels like your skin is dunked into water your skin instantly looks radiant and glowy like from within I also like using this on top of my foundation just to make sure that I look very dewy and I love using this uh, when I'm traveling especially after I've had like a very long haul flight and a day after drinking this this is really great for those days and again great for sensitive skin clinique has a great uh, range of skincare like I, I really trust clinique when it comes to like skincare uh, so for cleaning or uh, the days that i need cleaning i love love i think i've only used this the past couple of months this is the innisfree super volcanic clay mousse mask and it's a clay based mask so it helps in cleaning and just pulling out everything from your pores and making sure your skin is extremely clean. Or I mix the clay mask with these two color clay masks. This one is the calming one and this is the Sika one. So both of them really helped in calming down my skin. So what I do is just use the mousse mask over here, like on this part of my face. And then this two here, either this or this, like here. And it really helps in coming down my skin especially when it's feeling like very itchy i get like very itchy irritated skin over here and sometimes my acne can be super itchy as well so i apply this to calm it down 
Sometimes what I like to do is at night when I have removed my makeup, I just apply this all over my skin for 15 minutes and then I go on and wash it off with uh, cleansers like this which like really strip off every ounce of oil on your face or I dip Q-tip in the oil and then um, apply it on an active pimple before I go to sleep so it really helps in calming it down and dehydrating it and the next thing you can invest on for spot treatment is these uh, patches from Dr. Bama I'm gonna try and link them down below for you guys but these are the best things when especially when you have this like really active inflamed pussy pimple it just melts it all and flattens it in one night and the other thing that I've been loving for spot treatment is this um, this is like the Mario Badescu uh, spot treatment but it's from uh, Etude House sorry you can't find it here but I just thought in case you're traveling or in case you have Etude House where you live in your city then please pick this up if you have acne prone skin because this is the only thing that really makes all of my acne just disappear this is the ac cleanup pink powder spot so basically you make sure that the powder remains still and not mixed with the solution you just dunk in the q-tip and then apply the pink powder on your active acne yeah that's all for my skincare routine sorry this was a very talkative rambly one but i know a lot of you enjoy that kind of old school video so i thought i'd just sit down and talk to you guys let me know if you have any questions i'm going to be very interactive under this video so let me know if you have any questions thank you so much for watching make sure you are subscribed and i'll see you in my next video bye